Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. In our last episode related to cabinet making in today's modern cabinet shop, we showed you the design and the cutting out of the parts. Now it's time to do more process and put it all together. You're gonna love what you see. It's a really interesting story. Stay tuned. Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. In our last episode about today's modern cabinet shop, we showed you the design, the concept, and everything up to actually cutting the parts on the CNC machine. But that's not the end of the story because right after that, there's a lot of other things that need to be done, including gluing, clamping, edge banding, and finishing. We're gonna introduce you to some of the team and some of the equipment that's used today to do that. Let's go ahead and get going. As we've mentioned before, we've now moved into the actual manufacturing part of the process. Here we see Tyler using a vacuum operated lifting gear and a jib crane to place sheet goods on the bed of the CNC machine. This makes it a lot easier on Tyler's back and it increases productivity and accuracy while reducing material damage. Once parts are cut on the CNC, they are placed in shop carts grouped by job. The shop foreman, my friend Patrick, points out how they are grouped and shows how each part is both labeled with what job it goes to as well of what part in the job it is. After sheet goods are cut, the edges are raw and they need to be finished. Here Patrick demonstrates the use of the shop's edge banding machine. A wide range of banding materials are available and the machine quickly and accurately covers the edges with matching or complementary colors. As the sign points out, all machines like this depends on accurate setup and the operator using their brain because the machine doesn't have one of its own, that's for sure. After the pieces are edge banded, Patrick then moves over to the drilling and pinning machine. Different programs are used for this machine depending on what the part is and the overall size of the finished cabinet and any other special considerations. After being programmed for the project at hand, the machine makes really quick work of both drilling precise dowel holes, but also inserting the pre-glued dowels into the parts. The glue on these dowels are activated with a small amount of water. Spiffy, huh? Many parts go to the paint and finishing area because of special requirements or a paint color or finishes that have been specified. Here, we see Ben taking care to assure a glass smooth surface as well as slightly rounding the edges. This is called breaking the edge. Once this prep is done, Marty makes quick work of applying the specified finish and placing it in the drying rack until it can be handled to spray the other surfaces of the piece. Now the booth that Marty works in has a ventilation and filtration system in the back of it to assure that overspray and vapors move away from the crew and the materials. And this gives a superior finish on the piece as well. The air moves through a special filtration medium to filter it. Just before assembly, any hardware that can be installed while the pieces are flat are done now. Once hardware is installed, it all comes together really rapidly, especially when you know what you're doing like Patrick and Chris. Here, we see the back of the cabinet slid into place into one of the sides and ends, and the other side applied after moistening and lining all the dowels and adjacent holes. The whole assembly is tapped together using soft-faced hammers, along with strategically placed nails. Then, the whole assembly is lifted off the table and is placed into the cabinet or carcass clamp. Temporary feet which act as skid pads are placed on each and every cabinet box to eliminate bottom edge damage while further work is being done to the cabinet during transport to the job as well as actual placement in the job site. Now once the carcass is in the press, a few adjustments are made to assure alignment and squareness and the machine applies the specified pressure and it squares the whole unit at the very same time. And in just a few minutes, the cabinet is ready to be dressed out with drawers, drawer fronts, and doors. Here, Lorenzo both installs the drawers in this base cabinet as well as applies and adjusts the drawer fronts so there's an equal reveal on the sides of the fronts 
as well as an equal space between the fronts top to bottom. And there you have it. Now you know how the Modern Cabinet Shop goes about building some beautiful cabinetry. Make sure to stick around though because in the next segment you'll see the installation in our garage of these cabinets as well as the fit and finish. We want to thank the crew today here at Lone Pine Cabinetry that allowed us to be right in the middle of a production day doing our filming. If you found this video to be helpful, why don't you like it and better yet subscribe to our channel. Until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay from DirtFarmerJay.com.